my life. The last time I wrote about the twin flame relationship and if it was truly an honest occurrence in our lifetime, I mentioned that the likelihood of this meeting was rare and special and required gentle kid gloves. I wasn't even so sure that the man in my life at that moment was the one, as we were going through the initial phases of any partnership. History shows that any twin flame relationship is bound to be the most difficult as the partners have been incarnating over vast lifetimes to get to the point where they meet and reconnect. This is no easy ride, as I am poised to tell you. If anything, it is a roller coaster of every damn emotion and nuance that the normal relationship doesn't offer. As I write this, the sun is streaming down on my face. One of my favorite inspirational feelings. I have classical music softly playing in the background, another favorite, and my man is soundly asleep for another few hours. We are in phase 3 of this twin flame relationship, the dance. The dance phase is where we are continuing to dig up emotional stuff, but we are doing it together, in each other's presence, no longer alone. The alone time for our past karma is up. All the work now is in union. And that includes the arguments, the disagreements, the making up, the cleansing. We are deeply embedded in our merging for the purposes of spiritual bliss together. Our energies during this reality is both humbling and frustrating, and I for one, am watching my own self progressing through this partnership, with some perfection and humanness. The initial phases seemed effortless and romantic and full of more bliss than I could have ever imagined. Once the second phase hit, I thought okay, this relationship is a bit more than what I have bargained for, but I stuck with it, despite wanting to run a few times due to the intensity. The same can be said for my man. This dynamic requires so much work, the kind of work we signed up for in this lifetime. This twin flame relationship is exactly what I need, where I am in life, and who I am meant to share space and time under the fleeting stars, sun and moon. But, it isn't a picnic at all. It is almost like a full-time job, without the clock punching and paycheck. The best aspect of this soulful dynamic is the rewards. Not your typical everyday gee honey aren single quote we the coolest rewards but we are a witness to our every intention, act and result. We aren't running or chasing anymore. We are submerged and uncomfortable, and striving each and every day for the yin and yang. And when it doesn't happen as we would like it to, we keep going. This isn't just any typical relationship I have been privy to in my life. Being with this man is showing us our potentials as human beings to ascend together in spiritual bliss. We are in a deep cleansing process together. We still continue to wound each other, knowing full well that this is part of the dance of intimacy. But, the resolution we have far surpasses any ill feelings toward the other person, as we continue with mutual respect and love. This twin flame dynamic always sounded so fairy tale and completely unattainable to me. Years ago, I had asked for this, written about it, and never expected what is now occurring on the deepest level possible. Am I happy? Consciously, yes, more than happy. We both get frustrated and confused at the slightest offset to our paths. We run a bit. We chase a bit. We agree often. We disagree and concede that we have different views on life. I once read the book, a big fat book at that, by my favorite author Ernest Hemingway for whom the bell tolls. This was a story about the protagonist who was in the Republican army with the best of intentions for all involved. He meets a Spanish girl. During their brief course of interactions, they felt as if the earth had moved with their intense lovemaking. As he continued on his path out of duty to his fellow soldiers and man, she was taken away from him, and he felt as though he was finally operating from his heart versus his mind. Their liaison taught him about how fragile love is in the wake of turmoil, and his courage to protect. This book took me forever to read, 
Yet any Hemingway book has a specific message that I resonate with on a deep level. I used to mimic Hemingway's writing when I was in a creative writing class in college. For some reason, this author has always made a strong impression with me. This novel for whom the bell tolls, as I found out through my own inner work, had a message for me. The message was how past lives are directly proportional to current sagas and relationships. I needed to read this large, relatively boring-ish book, to gain the message about my man and me. Strange as it sounds, these synchronicities appear when we least expect them. Throughout the years, with my own diligence in discovering more of what makes me tick and the underlying currents of my psyche, I found this Hemingway novel was placed on my path for a reason. Call me crazy, but I pay attention to this stuff. He and I are approaching the next phase of this twin flame dynamic. We are poised to continue the dance and take it to the happiest phase of all, where the world is our canvas, the sacred love and intimacy is enlightening, and we can move all of this energy invested to the outer world. Lots of deep breaths in this current phase, lots of deep breaths. I can't sweep anything under the carpet anymore. I can only welcome what is happening as we have completely merged in a spiritual realm. More deep breaths. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual paths. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave your suggestion in the field below. Thank you.